Hey, I designed a biofilter after looking at several biofilters on the YouTube. Uh, I needed one that was going to be more decorative, that would stand out in my flower area and could be camouflaged very easy. I found this terracotta pickle barrel. It's a 45 gallon pickle barrel and uh, put a couple of tubes through it with those uniseals, two inch tubes for drain offs. Put a three inch bulkhead at the bottom so that you can back flush and drain it. Uh, I set it up just like a skippy filter in, in every sense of the way with water circulation down at the bottom. It's about six inches off the bottom. Uh, that way you can get that muck right out of there. So I'm going to take it apart and uh, give you a look at just how I built it inside. So I put in uh, a couple of, this is the intake, uh, supplying the water into it. Uh, it's a two inch. I reduced it down just so it'll fit the one inch coming off my pump. Eventually I'll go ahead and keep this to a big two inch tube. On the opposite side, back corner, instead of putting one big four inch uh, outflow, I just put two two inches so I could supply uh, a waterfall or uh, add on another uh, bio filter to it and uh, do them in combination. When you look at the bottom, Drill a hole in the bottom, put in the bulkhead, and a quick valve release. I'll get a flexible hose and run a flexible hose off. So when I want to drain that muck right out of there, I can do that. I also saw where you can get these in clear plastic. That way you can, I guess you could look and see how much muck is in there, but it wouldn't tell you how much it is. Um, so that's basically what I did. So it's three holes at the top, one at the bottom, and that's how you come up with this. I'm going to end up putting it on uh, some 16-inch blocks. Why don't you come here and take a little closer look just how I cut the inside out. Again, over here is the outtakes, two of them, two two-inch. On this side is the intake. Now, the intake later on, I'm going to show you how I connected it because it's a sealed system. It can be sealed or open. And then at the bottom, you've got the three-inch bulkhead. When I looked at the skipping filter, you know, the skipping filter has the big inch-and-a-half tubes that uh, the water drops in and, spins, and it causes the water to spin around the bottom of the skippy uh, filter. I did the same thing but instead of inch and a half tubes I used one inch tubes and a three inch PVC uh, one inch uh, three quarter here to make stands just to support the tubes. That's all these do is all these are stands to support the tube. I kind of sealed them up with some silicone so the muck don't build up in them. I, Left this open, it's a clean out, so in case muck build up in it, you want to pull it out of the, the uh, pickle burrow, you can clean it all out. I've got a real tight fit, so one of these uh, has to come out, one of these vortices that force the water to go around has to come out. And at the top, I said that I connected it so it's sealed. I used the fern coat to make that connection at the top, it just slips right on and off. And uh, I made the top where you can take the top off. For inspection purpose, look right down inside, push it back on, and you'll be all set there. If you come on over, we'll take a closer look down in the inside, and I'll just show you how you can get this back in. You have to take off one of these elbows because it's a really tight fit at the bottom. Um, you fish it in, you'll have to go around the pipe some, but it'll fall right down. Once you get it inside, go ahead and put your last. Uh, Elbow on to, the, to divert the water in a circular pattern. Drop it right down inside. It'll fall right on the bottom. And as you can see, that each elbow is right on the rim of the barrel to cause that circular pattern to go around. You can then just make your connection with this slip, slip joint here, rubber slip joint. Butt it up real tight. Take a screwdriver, fasten her up. And I won't fasten up too tight just so you get the idea. So now this makes this intake a sealed system. It's going to go right down. Vortices will push the water around. You've got about six inches down on the bottom. So I cut two of those uh, light fixture uh, grids. Uh, I cut two. I made two circles. You'll take these, set them down in the bottom right on those vortices. I'll give you a look how this looks real quick. They go right down. You have to cut them in half. To, I, you know you can't put them in hole like that. So.
That's one side. I'll do the other side now. Here's the other side. So you had to cut the screens, the light screens, in half in order to get them in. So I've got one half on that side, one half on the other side. But in order to, for some stability, I just went on and made cut two screens so you can put two of them in. And uh, when you put them in, just put it over that half seam so that you really have a great support for that bio meat for the uh, uh, media that you're gonna set in. Once you get both halves in. Just be careful with these uh, light screens because they break so easy until they're in place. So now you've got a good platform to set your biometer in, uh, your biomedia in, and uh, it should be off to a great start. Don't forget to prime up your filter with uh, some good bacteria before you get it going. And again, this will hold about 40 gallons of water uh, right here. And it'll, when it's full, it'll start filtering at 40 gallons of water. Now that you got your separation screens and it's time to select the media of your choice. For me, I'm going to use the media that's commonly used in the Skippy filter. I think it does a great job. So you just drop those in, get them all the way in, leave them loosely so the water flows up through them. And uh, I, I'm going to fill mine right up to those outlet nipples. For the top, the top of this unit comes with a nice rubber seal top. You can just put that on. It's got a locking seal around it. It'll lock up really tight. It's got a clamp band on it, and then you can take a flower pot and put right on the top of it that'll camouflage it. Okay, it's all installed now, and the elbows have been painted the same color as the terracotta pot. Uh, one of the most important things is to check it for level so you can get that proper drainage out of those two two-inch tubes. That's a camouflage pier where we'll camouflage the pot with flowers around the sides, and then we'll put one on the top. 